where we can where we can share and improve communication communication skill as Toastmaster Club. The mission is to provide supportive, positive environment for all members to have a chance or opportunity to improve communication skill and also leadership skill. And also which turn into faster confident growth. And now, before that, I would like to inform our officer in this club. I am act as president for this year, and we got a vice president education, CTM Shokshai. We got a vice president membership, DTM Shulak. We got vice president uh, public relation, uh, Toastmaster Paul. And we got secretary, DTM Pipat. Treasurer, we got uh, DTM Darwin Tra. And we got our second. Our surgeon at arm, our former president, DTM Jindarat. Yes. And we got any uh, chanting at, oh, sorry. Before that, I would like to invite surgeon at arm to introduce our guest for today's meeting. Please, everyone, welcome our surgeon at arm, DTM Jindarat. Thank you. President, as a Sergeant at Arm, it is my duty to perform an introduction of guests or members from other clubs. And I would like our guests to introduce yourself, your name, and if you are a Toastmaster member, specify your club where you, you are in. Or if you are not, you can inform us or introduce yourself as what do you work, where do you work, or countries you stay. Let me see. Okay. The first, let me call upon DTM Margaret because you can be a role model to the other guests as well. DJ Margaret, please. Oh, no. Don't make me a role model after so many years of not speaking. <laughs> what should I say? It has been a long time since I've been connected with the Toastmasters, and I miss them all. I truly miss everybody. And I will tell you, just go for it. Join the Toastmasters because I am a veteran of 30 plus years and I never miss anything more than Toastmasters. So if you're still doubting, don't doubt anymore. Just join. My name is Margaret Satasiri and my Thai name is Pinsa. And I am Margaret Thatcher of Thailand. Thank you. Thank you, Margaret Thatcher, Thailand. Thank you so much for your introduction. Let us know you a bit for at the beginning. And next is our guest from India. I'm Shuda. Can you introduce yourself? Uh, hi. Uh, I think. Um, thank you. I think I'm audible. Uh, it's very bright to see everyone here. Uh, thank you for the good introduction, Ms. Margaret and Tim. Thank you for comforting me. So I'm Kurme, I'm Shudha Sai, uh, and I'm from India. Currently, I'm a master's student. I study MBA in IIT Dhanbad. IIT Dhanbad is a very uh, top college in India. It's an Indian Institute of Technology, which had a legacy. And I'm looking forward to meet everyone. Uh, I'm more interested in poetry, storytelling, anything related to sustainability, climate. I'm always open to speak. Anyone could reach out to me and I'd love to meet people. Uh, that's why I've come here and I'd love to hear and talk to everyone uh, right now. Yeah, thank you so much. 
Thank you. And here is the place for you and open opportunities for you to practice what you mentioned now, just now. Practice speak English, storytelling, and more and more. Thank you for being with us. And you learn from us from the meeting session tonight. And, and I saw our guest name Hong. Why? Who is? Can you introduce yourself? Can you start your video, turn on your video, and have a chat together? Introduce yourself, please. Hi, everyone. Yeah, my name is Hong. Yes, this is the first class for me to join. <laughs> Yeah. And you are in Thai? Are you a Thai? Yes, in Thai. Okay, Kun Hong. Ah, yes. Okay, yes. thank you. Because your name, it seems to be whether Chinese, Vietnamese, and Thai. You are Thai. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. And we, you are welcome to be here and observe and practice public speaking together. This is a time for all of us to practice public speaking. Thank you. Thank and you. our next guest coming in is Distinguished Toastmaster Support. Can you introduce to all of us in short? Please unmute yourself. Can you unmute? Yes. My name is Support. I'm a member of so many clubs. I like Lam Tong Toastmaster Club because it is an old club and it is the place where most politicians came here, practice their language. And I always believe that I will improve my language skill through attending Lam Tong Toastmaster Club. Thank you. Very short. <laughs> Thank you so much, DTM support. And Toastmaster Mac, you are our members. Am I right? Not, not, not yet. Lam Tong. No, not yet. <laughs> When I saw one. you many yeah. times in this Lam Tong Club, and then I thought, oh, you are our members already. Okay, give you a chance to introduce yourself. My name is Mac. I live in Hat Yai, Song Kla, but I'm a member of Bangkok Toastmaster and Thailand Online Toastmaster Club. And I like to visit, I love to visit Lam Tong Toastmaster Club and listen to great speaker. And tonight we have three great speakers. I'm looking forward to hear them all. Thank yes. you for having me. Yeah, thank you so much. You are all welcome and we learn together. And we all the guests have introduced themselves. So my duties have ended. And back to you, President. Yes, thank you very much. Please, everyone, keep a big round of applause. Next, do we have any chanting assignment? Uh, yes, we have China. chanting. Yes. We have chanting assignment. Yes. Today, our Thomas of the day is Thomas Young. The topic chairman is Thomas in Dallas. We have his speaker. The first speaker, Thomas Paul. We need a personal eraser one. Thomas Mac will be personal writer one. And speaker two is Thomas Chok Chai. Thomas Terror will be personal writer two. And the third Thomas Terror is speaker three. Perhaps we, we will be have a panel writer. And general writer is Thomas Paul. Timekeeper, Thomas Yong. Uh, counter, Thomas, the Chok Chai. And 
better English, maybe Thomas in Dallas. Okay, yes, that's all. Wonderful. Thank you. What is the last one? Uh, be better English, Thomas in Dallas. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Is there any separate uh, special topic for every person? I didn't get what Cho Chai said. Oh. Uh, let me share the screen, okay? Hold on, hold on. Can you see it clearly or not? PE1 is called Master Mac. Okay. Uh huh. So um, we have our distinguished Toastmaster Pinsa would like to practice her speech. Okay. We we can make it full. Yes, we yes, can. We can. We can. We can. Uh, we can. I, I got an idea. Look, if um. Toastmaster DTM Margaret wants to practice her speech. She can take my place in the impromptu speech and then I think we'll save time. How's that? Okay, yeah. So it would be better. Yeah. Yeah. So, we, we, yep. we can make it whole. We can can we make can we make it full? I think we can. Four? Okay. Four. I'm, I'm still okay with that. That's good. Mm. Okay. Yep. Thank you. So I would like to stop chair the meeting agenda. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much. So today we will have four speakers. Wow. And I don't want to wait any more time. I would like to introduce the one who run the meeting. Please, everyone, welcome. Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Young. Thank you very much, President. Now I would like to explain shortly because we would like to do something special today. We got three sessions. The first session is impromptu speaking, which is table topic master will ask you a question and you got time two minutes to speak. And you will see the green sign if you speak up to one minute. One and a half minute, that means you speak uh, you will see the yellow side and two minutes you will see the red side and yes and next one we got speed session as I mentioned today we got four speaker please everyone get ready for that and the third session we got evaluate session this session is we will show what we have done in the meeting and we will got people to comment what we have done in this meeting. Okay, please, I would like to get to the first session. This session is table topic session. Toastmaster who will run this uh, session is uh, DTM Chinarat. She is two club. Now she in Toastmaster club and Genevieve Collifield. And she served as club officer since she have joined Toastmaster Club. Please, everyone, welcome ETM Jinarat. Thank you, President. I am so privileged and be so pleased to take these roles as the table topic masters. And I would like to explain in brief to our guests here in the meeting tonight so that everybody know what and how table topic session is going on or is running. In fact, table topic normally is all about questions and that is, which is an unknown questions. But I myself as table topic master will ask you, any one of you who volunteer to answer. 
the technique of this table topic is are a r e e the first a when you listen to the question the first a to think and answer the r is the reason to support your answer and the first e is the example to your reason to your answer and the last e is the ending that is you conclude your stories what you have talked and you have two minutes to talk when one minute the green side is turned one minute 30 seconds yellow and two minutes red and when you see the red side try to wrap up and conclude within 30 seconds this is how we practice impromptu speech everybody are you ready raise your hand if you are ready okay let's enjoy this exciting session my first question if you had to eat one meal a day every day for the rest of your life what would it be if you had to eat one meal every day for the rest of your life what would it be who would like to volunteer yeah i saw our competent toastmaster trevor yes that seems i'm <clears throat> always first in uh, what would i want to eat look i intend to live a long time not a short time now if i was living a short time i'd choose tom young and that's what I'd eat every day. And I probably wouldn't get sick of it. But the problem is, I wouldn't live a long time. And I want to live a long, long time. And I want to be really healthy and enjoy my time. As far as I'm concerned, when you're sick or there's something wrong with you, that's time out of your life. That's a waste of time, isn't it, being sick? really is. There's no life when you're sick, especially for me. So what would I eat? A plate of fruit every day. And I'd probably mix the fruit around. But just think about it, a plate of fruit every day would keep me alive, keep me healthy, and I'd live a long, long time. And that's what I'm about. So I've told other people that I want to live another 40 years. It's a long time. You don't know how old I am right now, but <laughs> I want to live another 40 years. And the people that say, you'll never make it, you'll never do that. I don't have to worry about them because I'll be dead before me. I don't have, they can't come back and say, I told you so because they'll be dead long before I'm dead. So I'm fine. A plate of fruit every day, and you will live a long, long time. Back to you, Table Topics Master. Thank you. So you will live long, long, for a long time with healthy, for another 40 years. So you will be living to 100 years of age, more than 100 years of age, right? Wow. Thank you so much. And I love Tam Yam Kung as well. Yes, thank you so much. The next question, be ready 
and raise your hand, volunteer to answer it. Next, who is the funniest person in your family? Who is the funniest person in your family? Yeah, thank you. I'm Shuda. I saw you raise your hand. Stay as uh, you know. Okay, thank you. Thank you for giving me this topic. Uh, so the funniest person in my family is my elder brother. He's uh, Shiva Desai. Yeah, uh, from childhood I've grown uh, looking at him, living with him. He has always spoke me and solved many issues. Whenever I was having a discussion or anything, uh, then he would, would turn it into a very poking kind of scenes and I would get into petty fights. I learned along uh, the way how to talk and at the same time to be humorous. And um, yeah, uh, he's an example for me every time. Uh, whenever I'm speaking to someone to add a bit of humor to it. And that, that uh, he's the reason for me, uh, you know, to endure the discussions even when they get hot. Uh, and yeah, I'd, I'd uh, look at, look at uh, him every other time. Uh, that's how I, even the humor is kind of a thing uh, which leads you uh, to lead it in uh, difficult discussions, like uh, whenever I'm on a public uh, speaking session in my college's seminar, or even uh, even a funny talk uh, between my friends. Uh, humor from my brother had uh, really helped me. Uh, suppose I'm poking at a person just very diplomatically, uh, not uh, really directly. So that's how I found uh, my brother so funny. And yeah, that's the reason, and uh, that's how I do. Uh, one little uh, story that I uh, remember is uh, from my childhood that uh, the I was very really jealous because he got uh, very good presents on his birthday, and not uh, for mine. Uh, but then he comes and uh, dragged me into the discussions, spoke me all the time after I cried. And yeah, that was really fun remembering now. Yeah, he's the funniest person. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Amsterdam. Yeah, so people with families, normally we have one person or two person as a funny guy in the house, in the family, in our home. Yeah, so let's go to the next. Mm -hmm. Yep. What recent trend are you totally on board with? What recent trend are you totally on board with? Anyone who would like to? Now in the recent trend trending or news or whatever you are totally on board with any volunteer if not let me choose dtm support Thank you so much. Travel topic master. What train I am on board with? I think that at this moment, we have to follow what social media are interested in. And if you did something against what social media favor, then you will be in trouble. I will tell you that if you like reading or doing something on Facebook like me, then you will know that the social media trend every day change. One day you can do this thing 
another day, you cannot do that thing also, even in Toastmaster. I answer table topic almost every day, and on some days, more than one club. And what I found was that even the question is the same, I answer the same to one club. I got the best table topic. In some clubs, I got something that I didn't expect. It. So the world is complicated and you have to look at the trend of the society at this moment, that what trend the social media are in, even in Toastmaster, believe me. I have been involved with so many Toastmaster club, be involved with answering so many Toastmaster question. And I found that in each club, the answer is different. So the train of the society is very important. Back to you, table topic, master. Thank you, DTM support. I agree with you for social media that we keep on changing day from day to day. And thank you so much for your being members of so many clubs. Thank you so much. And next question. What hobby would you be a lot of fun to get into? What hobby would you be a lot of fun to get into? Any? Any volunteer? Yes, thank you. Competent toast, Master Chok Chai. The stage is yours. Thank you very much, Tabletop Chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, what hobby I am into? Of course, I into serving internet because I would like to see YouTube and Facebook. It gives me a lot of knowledge. I and I can see many, many movies, many, many things I can know about the people story. And when I surf internet in Facebook, I like to see the story about animal, the dog, homeless dog mm -hmm. in USA how people held the home, homeless dog. And I found that many people donate money to bring the, uh, the homeless dog to find the, the owner in the city far away. I am really impressed in the story of people. And I serve in the net to know about the war, the war about Russia and Ukraine because serving internet, it gives me a lot of inspiration. It gives me a lot of knowledge. I would like to improve myself because I serving internet. I would like to go out and know a lot of people around the world. I have the chance to talk of people in the other country. Oh, serving internet changed a lot in my life. I can try new things and I can join online meeting. I know about the hero from Australia who go everywhere I go. Wow, I impressed in everything in internet and I still serving in it. The will be chairman, please. Thank you. You are, you are the internet lovers. Watching movies, animal documentaries, and especially home the homeless dog. How to help them? 
Yes, thank you so much. And the last question, number five. Oh, in fact, I would like to call Kun Hong, whether you would like to practice this last question. Yeah, she has stopped her video. Yes. Give it, give it to Margaret. She needs practice. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret, do you would love to? Well, I will. I'm a speaker, so I wanted to give a chance to other people. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So make it this way because we will have four speakers together. Then I shall start for the only four questions for respondents for tonight, and we have more time for the speeches. Back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Wow, thank you very much. Thank you. Please, everyone, give her a big round of applause. Thank you very much. Wow, we have a good session today. And we go to another session. Anyone got joke to tell? We got joke teller to tell. Anyone? Yes? Unlike Margaret, I speak too much, don't I? <laughs> Look, I'll tell you what's going on. It's not even a husband and wife joke, believe it or not. But two women hopped on a bus together, walking side by side, and there was only one seat available on the bus. So they started fighting over who's going to get the seat. And the conductor of the bus comes along and tries to stand between them and sort them out. And they just kept arguing and carrying on. There was nothing he could do. He just shook his hands up in the air. Anyway, luckily, the bus driver, he saw what was going on with these two women arguing about this seat. And you know what the bus driver yelled out? Let the ugly one sit down on the seat. Nobody said. Both women stood up for the rest of the journey. Argument finished. <laughs> Anyone else want to share? Joe? Otherwise, we will go for a break for five minutes and we'll come back. Yes, I think we'll go for a break and come back in five minutes.
Um, so the speech I'm supposed to give is uh, supposed to be 15 to 20 minutes. But is it okay if I cut it down to like maybe four minutes for the speech and then six minutes for the Q&A? Yeah, Yes, I yes, I think so because today we got four speaker. Make make it uh seven up to ten something. Okay, clear. All right. Uh the other thing was gonna be I went ahead and made a Google Doc version of our agenda, guys. Uh so now there's a link and uh all you have to do is copy this and update it for the next one. And then you don't have to like uh move any files or anything. You can just uh send the link, right? Which is just text. Uh that should save a lot of steps and stuff. But uh, and then it's open to anybody. Anybody can look at it um, and edit it. I'll I'll keep an eye on that. But uh, yeah, and I'll, I'll put on the logo and stuff and like make it all real. Right. Like, um, I think I can do that right now, actually. Okay, there's a logo on the agenda now. Yes, time to come back for our meeting today now. Welcome everyone back to exciting session. This session is space this session. I don't want to wait for any longer. Uh, today, we very lucky we got four speaker. Wow, incredible. And the first speaker, Toastmaster Paul, he got a uh, his speech is about communication and there is question and answer in there. And I would like his personal evaluated to talk about his objective, please. Thank you, Mr. Tibet, Toastmaster of the day. The purpose of this project is for the member to learn about and practice facilitating a question and answer session. Project length, seven to 10 minutes. Good luck, Toastmaster Paul. Yes, please, everyone, welcome Toastmaster Paul on the stage. Doctors and honorable guests. Thank you for the opportunity to engage in our question and answer session this evening. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. A robot is not going to give my speech today, I promise. Okay, so we have how to effectively communicate or communicate effectively in 2022. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and honorable guests. Thank you for the opportunity to engage in our question and answer session this evening. Today, our topic is communication. I will be giving a short presentation on what I believe are bullet points to effective communication in 2022. Each segment has tips and elements I would love to share over the course of 30,000 hours of interaction over the past 17 years. First, active listening. Active listening is more important because you can learn more by listening than speaking. Write the question down. Writing it down makes it real. My fellow lawyers here, they can see that when you put something to paper, it becomes more official. 
write the answer down of the other person. Writing a person's answer acknowledges their mind. You honor them in this. Ask for confirmation. Clarify. Seek to understand, but not attack. And hope for the best. Because when people are attacked, that is a surefire way for that meeting to not go well. Next is something that I like to use in my classes. It's point, evidence, and analysis. What is your point of speaking? Why in the world should I believe you? And what do you think about what you just said? I got this one from a TED talk. What, so what, and what's next? I find this one to be extremely helpful in work meetings. What? WTF is the reason you're speaking. So what? Why does it matter to them? And what's next? What's the action step? Agenda, action steps, and expectations. I don't like this one. Time is precious. It helps to have a flow of points to cover. And with action steps, then everyone knows what they're doing next. This is the part I really don't like. Make expectations clear in a polite, firm way. This is where I'm trying, with respect. Written verbal, and infographic language abilities. People these days take in information in such a wide range of mediums, you have to adapt or you can multiply. Tone and calm matter, manner, manner. Focus. Sometimes it just doesn't matter what you say. Control your volume, your tone, and your behavior. That will protect you from all going crazy. Acknowledgement. People seek to be understood and heard. If you acknowledge their truths, desires, and deeper motives in a respectful way, you may succeed in communication. Extension, seek not to deflect or conflict with a person's logical train of thought or path of words and ideas. When it's your turn to speak, open up with, I'll extend that with, or I agree completely. What you say makes me think of and lastly, mutual agreement. When people agree on a real timeline of events and reasons and impact and history, they can come to a mutual agreement, agree on the story, and maybe succeed together. Thank you. In this leadership pathway, I'm to conduct a brief question and answer segment. Thank you again for your input. I am grateful. We'll be engaging in a short Q&A section on the points covered earlier. I'll share the screen for the ease of communication. Please kindly let me know if you have any questions by raising your hand digitally or physically or speaking up. And right here, I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to refer to the Toastmaster today. Uh, TM, Trevor, please take it away. Well, guess what you just did? Too much information. Miles too much information. As a matter of fact, I wrote down up to 20 points. You think about it. Each one of those points deserves an argument. 
So tell me what's going on and why. You see, you're telling us all those points. I want to know why. I believe I'm conducting a Q&A session. Yeah, well, I asked you why you had so many points and uh, like yeah. to take in, you see. We can't take all that in. There's 20 points there. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, I believe that this is a Q&A session time, not an evaluation time. No, no, it's not evaluation. I'm just asking you why so many points. <laughs> yeah, but I understand where you're trying to go. You want us to pick out a point and uh, ask you a little bit about it. A time time is one of my favourites, and it's not one of your favourites, is it, either? Um, but time, to me, setting a timeline is a blockage. It's a blockage. And I want to know your opinion about time, whether it's a blockage to you by setting a timeline, a deadline. I agree with you completely. And what you may, what you say makes me think of how there are two questions. One is why are there so many points? And two, it's that why is time important? So to answer the one, and I'll try to answer the one with the second as well, actually, it's that my goal and purpose here was to conduct a Q&A session where whatever information I present, would generate questions. Uh, and you generated two, which were great. And the second one on why time is important, having given this speech, I would say that time once lost is never retrieved again. Uh, everything else is recyclable in a sense, but not time, not yet. Thank you, Trevor, for your question. And, okay. May I? May I? Yeah, mother, of course. Well, I, I just loved your presentation about all these points because in my life, I have gone through every single one of them. And you are giving us a sort of a theoretical uh, information of what is needed when you are communicating effectively. And for me, it's an experience of 79 years of what you have said and it's all valid. But I would like to ask you how to get people to practice what you are trying to tell them. Because talk is cheap if you don't practice. And for me, I have practiced and I never knew this as a theory. I only did it and saw result. And that is the reason why my speech is on Result is my motivation. Every time I got result of doing what you have just given us many points, it gave me some happiness and some focus to what life is all about by being effective communicator. So your presentation was wonderful. I loved it and it has just reminded me that I'm on the right track. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I feel like I'm on the right track somewhere along this research because writing for me is trying to process it. And so how to convince people to practice, I, I think I can just say it was never always like this for me. You know, uh, all of these things were built 30 years ago. There's no way I could type or do these kinds of things or or make an agenda. So uh, it's just experience and time and being open-minded enough to be able to ask yourself, am I doing these things most of the time? <laughs> uh, and if that's good, then it's good, right? And then if things are terrible or they suck, then it's a bad day and you go and you move on, you know, <laughs> right? Nothing's forever in that way. Thank you so much. Uh, I believe I'm running out of time. So if you have any other questions, please text or, or anything, because I am really curious about this. And thank you again, for everyone, for this uh, 
this interesting speech, I suppose. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Sadiq. All right. Wow. Thank you very much, Professor Sadiq. Please everyone share your screen. That would be me, and yes, we will. Uh, the speech is Motivational Strategies, Level 3, Inspire Your Audience, right? And the purpose of the speech, the purpose of this project is to practice writing and delivering a speech that inspires others. I think that's all I need to know. Five to seven minutes and back to you, Toastmaster, to introduce the speaker. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, CTM Chok Chai, he's a salesman, he's a shopkeeper, and he lives in Chinatown. Please, everyone, welcome CTM Chok Chai. If there is a key to the success, to the happiness, if there is that key, Keep the key to your, to your happiness in your pocket. Don't let the key to your happiness in the hand of others because the key to your happiness is something really important to your life. Hold master of the day, ladies and gentlemen, everyone wants happiness. And because of happiness, Everyone try to do so many things, makes many impossible things to search for happiness. Me too. I want to have happiness too. And in recent time, I searched the Facebook and I found one Facebook. The name of this Facebook is Unlock Happiness by Dr. Earth. I like this Facebook because the name tell me something to search for the thing that I want. And because the YouTuber is the doctor in psychology and she gives something really good, meaningful, and I like her knowledge. Dr. Earth said that to find happiness. She gives us five key. The first key is self-care. Of course, we have to take care of yourself, make ourselves the good thing, take care of our mind, take care of our body. This is take care of our, our daily life. This is self-care. Love yourself. And the second is magnify. It is good self-talk. Try to speak something good to yourself. Of course, you can do it. Of course, you deserve for happiness. And you believe that many people outside like you believe. Just believe. Because Everything happened two times. The first time it happened in your mind. It happened in the world inside you. And because of it happened in the world inside you, it gives something to outside and make it happen in the real world. The third is focus. If you focus in positive, the first tip thing will be bigger. Remember that when you focus in any way, anything, that's where that thing will be magnified, will be bigger and bigger because focus is just like something to make the, the thing, other thing expand. 
So, focus. Focus in the good thing. Focus in possible. Focus in solution. How to find happiness. Focus in your life. And enjoy your life. Do not fall yourself too much. Believe that everything has cause and result. It happened because of cause and condition. You just make the right cause. You just go to the right condition. The good result will come to yourself. Believe in the law of cause and effect. So when you do your best, receive yourself. And the last thing, believe. Believe that if you do your best, that is all. Because you just try to do the good cause and the result will happen when it's time. Do not fault yourself. Do not compare yourself with others. If you want to have happiness, remember that self-care, who still talk to yourself, enjoy your life, believe, and do the best thing. This thing can make your life become worthwhile. And when you feel worthwhile, you feel that you have happiness. Happiness does not depend on how much you have. Happiness depends on how much you enjoy what you have. Although some people lost a lot of things, become successful person, but they still not happy. They still worry. They still overthinking. They can't control their mind. So don't fall yourself too much. Believe, believe in good things. Believe that good cause will make the good result. You just do the good cause more, 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 and more. When the time comes, the good result will come. Yes, you just believe in the good result and, and good cause. This is the thing that makes your mind become calm. Believe that life is fair to you and do not fall yourself too much. Let yourself become easy. Let's go off something because when you let go of something, your mind becomes happy. Happiness is not far from your life. Happiness is not at the end of the journey. Happiness is your choice. You choose to be happy because you want to be happy. You deserve to be happy. Believe in yourself. Believe that you have value. You can be happy. And happy is worthwhile for you. Happy is deserved for you. So, Master of the Day, please. Thank you very much. Please, everyone, give him a big round of applause. Wow. And I can see that he officially standing today. I think so. <laughs> okay. Next, I would like to uh, tell everyone that we got special uh, speaker today. We got an uh, impromptu speech. He will not have any title before, and I would like to give him the title now. His title is Focus, Focus, F-O-C-U-S-T, Focus. And this is uh, CTM Trevor. Uh, he will give us impromptu speech, five to seven minutes. And we will have panel to evaluate his, his speech. Please, everyone, welcome see us, CTM Trevor on the stage. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. 
Ladies and gentlemen, well, the opposite is distraction. And I can promise you, a lot of people get highly distracted in life. Isn't it funny that I meet a lot of people who have ideas and they're going to start a business or they're going to start a project or they're going to join an organisation or something like that. There's, there's many things, many different people have different perceptions of what success is. And the problem is they do lose their focus. They get distracted. But it's not always a distraction. It's often self-control. Okay, I know many people that have wanted to do something, really something. They wanted to save the animals, save the world, build a business, join the organisations and climb up there, but they just don't focus on that. They, they almost play the blame game. They look at their family. Well, I can't do it this year because I've got to pay for school tuition for one of my sons. This is going to happen. That's going to happen. The holidays are going to get in the way. And we've already booked. So we'll put it off till next year. And they just do things like that. The weather's really bad. And I could use that as an excuse myself not to focus. Oh, look, I've got to, I've got to fix my house. I can't do anything until I fix my house. It just can't wait. Well, it can, but it just can't. And then it's not the right time, is it? The government, wait till, wait till we have a change in the government. And then things will be good. And then I'll start and I'll join whatever and do, do whatever or I build an organisation or whatever I'm going to do. They just get distracted, completely distracted from where, what they actually want to do. I mean, I've seen it in a lot of families. All of a sudden, my wife just got pregnant. The whole thing's changed. I've got to focus on this, and I can't focus on that anymore. You see what I mean? The whole thing's changed. And they'll use that to discontinue and get distracted every time. I can tell you a lot of plans that have been made and destroyed. Guess what they focused on? COVID. COVID came along and they completely lost focus. Everything they do now, blame it on COVID. Not focusing on what they really wanted to do. They've got an excuse. They've got a change in direction. Take the easy path. Have you discovered that? People want to do it the easy way or what they think is the quick way. And I, I've always been out there telling people, don't let perfect get in the way of good. Boy, that's a favourite statement of mine. Don't let perfect get in the way of good. In other words, they're focusing on perfection rather than doing. I'm not going to... I'm not going to do this until conditions are right. I'm not going to do this until I know this thing works perfectly and it could take forever to be a perfectionist. Don't let perfect get in the way of good. Don't let narrow-mindedness get in the way of focus. From my point of view, and this is one of thing I do, I believe, and I practice it, that there is a hundred ways to do everything, a hundred ways. And yet people focus, that's the only way. And no wonder why it doesn't work. 
there's a hundred ways of doing everything. Don't let people distract you. I've had a carpenter come to me one time there and he was watching me build something and he said, you can't do that. He said, no way. Nobody does that. You can't do it. And what I was doing was ramming a door in a special place. He said, I, you can't do it because it's never been done. I turned around to him and said, hey, just watch me. I'm going to do it. <laughs> and I did. So I did it. And it was the most unusual place to put a door. But yes, I did it. And it worked very efficiently for my business. But he said, I've had 30 years of experience. I've been in this game for a long time and you can't do it. I didn't lose focus. I did it anyway. And it worked. So get the blinkers off. Don't let time distract you. Hey, it doesn't matter if you get older. Look at Colonel Sanders. When did he start? 65 years old. And he started. Look at where KFC went. So don't let time distract you or take away your focus. Everything doesn't have to have a timeline. You understand? Everything doesn't have to have a timeline. Don't say by the 30th of August, whatever, I'm going to make a million dollars. Nonsense. If you said that a month before COVID come, where would you be? <laughs> Your plans would be way out of whack. So what I'm saying is, yes, you keep focus. You allow for change. You allow for different time frames. You allow for a hundred ways to do anything. And don't let perfect get in the way of good. I promise you that will destroy you and you'll be behind the time and it'll delay. It's just terrible. So, hey, focus and let change take its direction and never be afraid to change your focus because all of a sudden there's a light over there and not over there. So don't be afraid to change your focus either at the same time. Back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Oh, thank you very much. Please, everyone, give him a big round of applause. And keep focused. Don't let anything that distract your focus. Yes. And our panel in evaluation session will uh, evaluate your speech. And next, I would like to introduce our fourth speaker, uh, CDM Margaret. She is an experienced Toastmaster and she got everything to tell us and all of us can learn from her. And I would like to invite her personal evaluator to talk about her objective, please. And any, she got a personal evaluator, no? No. Uh, I think, I think uh, just let the, everybody know that it's an, I have an audience at my club and yes. that they don't, the audience is very, is very important yes. for my speech to be focused on the audience and not oh. on this audience that I'm talking to. So okay. that they can evaluate me properly. Okay, come. And the topic is result is my motivation. Okay, yep. Thank you very much. Oh, her title is result is her is my motivation. Yes. And Please. I have five to seven minutes. Yes. And I'm be speaking to my fellow members of my club. Yes. Please, everyone, welcome DTM Margaret on the stage. Result is my motivation. At the gym, I found a very unique equipment. It gives you the body composition anal analyzer of how you're progressing in your health. 
and I just entered my gender, my age, and my height. And guess what? I got this result out of the machine. And you know what this result says? My age is 79. My metabolic age is 57. That is why result is my motivation. I am doing the right thing for everything. Not only for intermittent fasting, but also for losing my memory. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, fellow sports club members, and especially my good friend, Kunpi Chai. Remember my last speech, positive is a must, two years ago? Now let's see who remembers that date. All of you were there two years ago. No one? I'm surprised. It was a unique date, so you cannot forget. Should I tell you? 10, 10, 2020. I'm just testing your memory because I'm going to tell you what I did for Alzheimer, which is the topic for our health seminar today. Again, remember, result is my motivation for everything. Weight loss and now memory loss. We all know what is Alzheimer. If we don't know, just Google it and you'll get everything. The important thing is, are you monitoring your memory? Are you losing your memory slowly but surely? I started feeling it right now because I'm taking care of my husband for the last five years and doing so much that I'm getting all confused and not focused on anything. But my husband's situation is a blessing in disguise because whatever I have to do for him, it also applies to me. So, believe me or not, there's always a reason for everything. Alzheimer is a lifestyle disease, not genetics. So don't point your finger at your parents or your ancestors. Blame yourself, blame your, blame every, don't blame everybody, just yourself is enough. Everyone young and old will have Alzheimer, early or later. It all depends on you. I have many friends playing golf with me and they're 20 years younger than me. And they are already having Alzheimer more than me. So they asked me, what are you doing, Margaret? That you have such good memory. And I said, I do everything because I'm a gullible person. You know what does gullible means? It means chungai, not skeptical. Are you gullible? Another reason I think I am slowing down my Alzheimer is I'm very talkative. Are you talkative? Because they have done a research. Speaking helps the brain to activate. And because the language and the thought keeps working around the clock when you're speaking. So it has proven that speaking helps you to slow down Alzheimer. Number two, it relieves the stress and mental illness in you, which is happening every day. By speaking, you bury all the things. You, you don't bury the things that in your heart or your mind. And you don't suffocate yourself. And speaking, the third one that is very important, it exercises the active facial muscles. 
at the same time exercises the ears and eyes to lower the risk of ears and eyes deterioration and risks. You won't have dizziness and deafness. You will have it but less. What did I do to slow down even more? Well, let me tell you a story. Just recently, on the 6th of July, my first grandson, he had an interview for his membership at the club. And I forgot the pants for my, grand, my husband who was to accompany him. And he called me, Grandma, Grandpa has no pants with him, jacket. And I got so stressed out. I took the car and drove like a mad taxi man and got the pants on time. That little forgetfulness of my not putting the pants made me feel so aggravated and at the same time determined to not do it again. Ladies and gentlemen, being forgetful and getting Alzheimer is not, a, is, is not easy and it's not good. It doesn't make you happy. But for me, I'm still working on it because I'm 79. It's going to come in for surely and slowly but surely. And I hope that my husband's situation will help me to continue doing what I'm doing. Ping pong for tennis that I cannot play, golf and Toastmaster speaking and everything you possibly, Qigong in the morning at six o'clock in the morning. I'm keeping myself active for being, for losing, not losing my memory. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Please, everyone, give her a big round of applause. Yes, we'll come back to the public speaking again. Yes. And next, I would like to I would like ask to move to another session, which is evaluate session. Uh, please, uh, I would like to invite Toastmaster Paul to run this session. Please, everyone, welcome Toastmaster Paul. Thank you very much for our, my inaugural general evaluation session here. I'll try to be brief as much as possible. It was a wonderful meeting filled, filled with talent and really incredible passion. That's what I hear from everybody. For me, I love hearing how people speak what they think is authentic and real in their mind. And it has this quality that's pleasant to hear. And when it syncs up with our goals, that's, that's just beautiful. So we have a few different evaluators here. I'm not 100% sure on evaluator three and four, but that's where as a group we'll come together and just share some positivity, I believe. And I think that would be great. Uh, for the first thing we have for our evaluation is going to be our timers report by President Young. Go ahead, sir. Thank, yes, thank you very much. Uh, we go for table topic session first. The time to take is the first respondent, CTM Trevor. He took two minutes. Second, future Toastmaster Am Chudam took two minutes. DTM support took two minutes and 20 seconds. The fourth one, CDM Chok Chai, he took two minutes. And we go for speed session. The first speaker, he took 10 minutes. Second speaker, he took seven minutes and 10 seconds. The third one, CDM Trevor, he took seven minutes and 10 seconds. The last one, DTM Margaret, she took seven minutes and 10 seconds. Thank you very much, back to you. Thank you very much for that concise timers report. Now we'll move on to DTM Mac, who is going to be evaluating speaker number one. DTM Mac, I believe, I'm not sure I put that on my notes, but please, sir, take it away. I understand you're president as well of your club, but it's an honor to have you. Thank you. Uh, I'm just a Toastmaster. I haven't completed my DTM yet. 
Thank you, Mr. General Evaluator, fellow Toastmaster, and welcome guests, especially Toastmaster Paul. I particularly love your opening, the way you start your presentation with a joke that grasped my attention, and then you gave me your topic immediately while you still have my attention. Then Toastmaster Paul went on and explained to us how to effectively communicate in 2022. He gave us the point, starting from active listening and so on. In terms of his delivery, he spoke in a very easy to listen to pace. His calm and deep, pleasant to listen to voice make it very pleasurable to listen to. As for the information, I felt that it wasn't too much, perhaps because as a PE, I was taking notes for my evaluation. So I was able to follow along and digest the information, but maybe because the time was shortened and the presentation that Toastmaster Paul prepared was more than the time that he has to speak. That's, that's maybe, if that's the case, maybe I would like to suggest compress it down, combine some of the points together so it'd be easier to, for the audience to follow along. And I have a suggestion. In my opinion, I would like to suggest that this visual aid seems a bit too small in terms of the font. Uh, I was able to see it and follow along because I am using a PC. But as for the member who are on the smallest screen or phones, they may not be able to, to, to see your screen. Or perhaps use a, a more, I, I understand that it's not classy to, to use too much contrast when you design. Maybe use white, pure white on a black background. That should help you, uh, the audience, to be able to see your visual aid better with a little bit bigger font. That's my only suggestion. In terms of your handling the Q&A session, you answer your the question graciously, you manage the time efficiently. In fact, I am stealing one of your quotes. I already put it in my Google Keeps uh, quote page. Time is unrecyclable. I love that one. All in all, you did a great job. I'm looking forward to hear your next speech. Back to you, Mr. General Evaluator. As both speaker and general evaluator, thank you very much for your compliments uh, and analysis where it has both sides of it, uh, both key specific improvement points that would be helpful, as well as things that the takeaway for me is to continue try to doing try to do some of those things and make them better. Right? Uh, but then key improvement points. So we have here personal evaluator two going for speaker number two here, CTM Trevor, whenever you're ready, sir. I'm ready. <laughs> Thank you, General Evaluator Paul. Yes, uh, another interesting speech, simplistic in nature about being happy. However, there was a few points in the middle that, that really added body to the speech. Unfortunately, when uh, Toastmaster Choke Chai opened, I didn't really understand what he said. He said something pretty quickly in the opening. So I would impress upon him to slow right down when you open your speech. And if it's a difficult opening, repeat it. There's nothing like repetition to add value to what you're saying. So we went on. We started talking about happiness, your, your happiness is in your pocket and the keys to happiness, et cetera. So we we're moving into the body. And then you gave us a reference. You're on Facebook and you were talking to happiness by Dr. Ear or something like that. I didn't know, professor of psychology or something like that. But yeah, that's good. It's good to show us that you're not just talking about happiness, but you have researched it. You've done something about it. And I appreciate that. People always appreciate something like that when you when you can reference it. And then you started talking about self-care, 
mind and body and loving yourself, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and the body. That was good. And everything happens two times. That was intriguing. Yes, of course, it happens in your mind and it happens in the real world. I know you didn't say it like that, but I got it, you know, what you were saying. I like your repetition of focus on this, focus on that, focus on something else. Yeah, it's, it's a good way, you know, it's like a rhyming thing, you know, focus on this, focus on that. Yeah, it's good, bit of repetition. Uh, happiness, cause and effect condition. Ah, here's, here's another bit I missed. The law of what? The law of something. You only said it once. If you're going to say something important like that, repeat it and repeat it slowly and strongly because the law of something, especially in nature, is very important. Anyway, you summarised near the end of the speech, but I like you. You reviewed it. You went over the points that you were making in the body of your speech, and that does make a difference to, to summarise. So that, is, that was good. And in the end, you're talking about not every successful person's happy, because even if they've got lots of money. Yes, true, of course. And then you're trying to get people to let go, let go of all the, all the rubbish in the world, just be happy, great. And finally, we got that repetition again. Happy is something or other, or other. Happy is something or other, or other. Happy is something. Happy is deserved for you. Well, not quite. It's happiness. You deserve happiness, not happy is deserved. But that's fine. I got the point at the end. It was good construction. But there was one little thing missing in your speech. I'll tell you what it was. You need to tell stories about everything you talk about, preferably personal stories. Boy, that highlights a speech. It adds bling to the speech and it makes us remember. If you talk about yourself and you tell a story about yourself, we will remember that more than anything else. Then it's not a university lecture, it's a speech that will be remembered. So, as I say, it was a great speech, great subject, very interesting to all this audience, I promise you. Back to you, General Evaluator. Thank you very much for that concise feedback on Toastmaster Chok Chai's speech there. Um, personally, as I've watched his style grow over the last nine months or so, just myself as an observer, I have the following. It's going to be that your speaking style, communication style, and writing style are all kind of evolving and changing. I can definitely note it and see it. Um, it's it's pretty cool. Yeah, 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 especially for people who have seen you like a year ago, right? Um, I, I think that's relative. Yes. So that would be for speaker two. Uh, for speaker three there, uh, I guess we're going to kind of go with the panel, guys. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and start it off. And I'll keep it at maybe 60 seconds or less. It's going to be where don't let perfect get in the way of good. That was the main message I took away from a TM Trevor's speech there. It was where he's a, he has a treasure trove of idioms, right? Like, um, you know, get the blinkers off, right? Like these things, they, they deliver messages in five words with a story and and sense and impact it's it's really quite powerful so the, those are things that we can always take away from that style um the quote originally originated from perfection is the enemy of good by voltaire and that's where we understand that we are permanent and the project is temporary and then the skills are transferable Right. And I thought that it was really nice in, in Trevor's representation of that. So thank you very much. For the last speech here, I saw in the, te in the text that Margaret uh, asked for speech feedback, but I'm going to pause now and we're going to talk about speech number three. Meet for CTM Trevor. What I have listened to your speech and your storytelling, I have learned a lot from you. You mentioned that when we focus on, let's say, one thing, 
we may lose another thing which there may be thousands of things or ways to to accomplish your task or your thing. So it means that don't just focus only one thing and lose control of the other thing that can help you make your 100 ways or 1,000 ways of doing things come and help you doing your tasks or your goals succeeding, successful. This is what I learned from you. And I love this statement from you. And I will let me copy it and use it as well. Thank you so much. OK. For me, I like so much the terror speak when he emphasized something. He moved his face, come near. And I feel that just like someone talking to me and move too close to me. Mm -hmm. when they want to emphasize or speak something important. And when Thomas Taylor said that, focus, focus on something, I feel that uh, I will focus on one thing because uh, he used his hand to make me focus. I like his movement, yeah. Thank you, Thank you very much for your comments, everyone. Uh, does, I, I think we have time for one more, anyone? Enjoy something about Trevor's speech there? Margaret? I know, I know Trevor for many years, and I know he loves to take all the opportunities to speak. And the result is his speech today. Have you noticed it was a perfect speech? He was focused on his own, on the message. He was focused on what he was saying with body gestures. And that is all because of practice, practice, practice. And that is what I'm going to do is to follow his footsteps. I hope, Trevor, you're going to help me. Thank you. Fantastic comments. Thank you. And now for the last evaluation here, and then we'll move on into our Al Kanto report. I would say for the last speech here, it was best tonight. And the reason it was best tonight, because there were two stories. It touched down to something deep and core, deep down that made me understand something more. Uh, and it made me understand that my brain just started firing ideas where I wanted to make suggestions like simple hand games, you know, uh, color games where it's got like four blocks and four grids, you know, all the kids games, I will buy you some, I'm happy to, right? And then there's number games where it's like simple to complex, where it's like doubling a number, one, two, four, eight, 16, keep it simple, you know? And these things, they really clear out that amyloid plaque, which is when you don't brush your teeth, there's this stuff that grows here. And that grows inside the brain when you don't use it. And so that's what causes Alzheimer's and dementia. <clears throat> Anyone else have comments on Margaret's speech? Uh, me, I, uh, can I speak? Yeah, yeah. I, I was really touched by Margaret's clarity in my speech. That was really um, soothing to me to hear when she said about her sports club and her, about her audience, and at the same time about all Alzheimer's, how uh, she's getting motivated by result. My percep perception changed. I would never. I'm a person who would never think about result. Uh, I was very negative about result. Thinking about result would demotivate me. But now I have a different view altogether. Thank you, uh, Margaret, for giving me a different uh, view altogether on result. Now I will think uh, result of uh, as also my motivation in a very positive way uh, in my academics and also for securing Jim good job. Thank you so much. Your journey really helped me uh, to enlighten. Thank you. See, Margaret, you don't need to practice, right? <laughs> uh, that was where it's that your voice provided a shining light for all of us. And, and then he just spoke out from thousands of kilometers away. That's what mm -hmm. happened, okay? We are from different backgrounds and different colors. Trevor? 
Margaret has not lost it at all. She's still speaking like a 45-year-old, let alone a 50-year-old. She's doing her job. That's like, I compare that to other speeches I've heard Margaret give. That was a good one, a really good one. And guess what? We had so many personal stories in that. We can't forget them. You cannot forget them. And it's a kind of an Alzheimer's use it or lose it speech. You got what I'm saying? And, and that is a very, very important message for the older people who are her audience, by the way. A very, very important message. And she used herself as an example and got quite personal. Oh, so I believe that every one of those club members is going to take that message with them. And the other thing I noticed, Margaret, is she, she didn't get too excited. It's actually more calm and conversational in this speech, even though it is could be dramatic, but something we can really take home and chew on. And I, I won't forget the speech. I know more about you than I did some time ago. So great speech. Don't change it. Deliver it as you delivered it to us. I'm very happy with that one. Good on you. Back to you, General Valuo. Thank you. Thank you so much. What a now I'm inspired to go ahead. <laughs> there is nothing that generates better feedback than history. And that's a clear example of that right there. Seriously. <laughs> uh, there's really nothing that beats that. Um, it's it's involved in friendship as well. Okay, we're moving on to our Al Contreras report here by CTM Chokchai. Take it away, sir. You know, writer, ladies and gentlemen, ah, uh, um, and other unnecessary words is something you make our speech become boring and less value. So when you want to, when you know yourself that you are going to utter ah, um, um, just Pause, pause a little bit is better and then go on. <clears throat> Today, everyone is good speaker and skillful speaker. I just cast only little report of our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Yong, one A. General director, Toastmaster Paul, one um. Yes, the end of my report. Thank you. I love how he ended it. It's like, uh, it's always so fun getting online with you, sir. Okay. All right. We have our Better English segment by Sergeant at Arms, Kunji Narad. Please go ahead. Thank you, General Evaluator. And in fact, today, my duty is so easy because all of us here in the meeting practice public speaking with, I would say, good English grammar structure, I found only minor things, which is the plural nouns for times, hours, minutes, and seconds. For example, two minutes, there must be two minutes, 10 seconds, 10 minutes, that's it. So don't forget with the pro at the end of each uh, times, what we go, of each time, hours, minutes, and seconds, if it is more than one. Okay, that's it. And glad to be with you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. All right. And I would love to, and actually for the last part of the agenda, I kind of just filled it in with Toastmaster of the Day making closing remarks today. But I think I just would be better to open the floor 
um, to see what people thought about this meeting today. It rolls into our guest remarks. So for now, we'll keep it with our members. And then after that, it goes into our guest section. So does anybody have anything to share about today's meeting? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to say I love we squeezed in four speeches. I love that. I mean, it, you don't often get it. And it just opens your mind four times and makes you think. And I, I really appreciate that. And, and especially DTM Margaret's speech, that, that blew me away. So the, just the importance of the speech. So that was great. Had a great night. And that's what I'd like to say about the meeting. Back to you. You make me think, number one, <laughs> number one. Yes, yes, yes. But uh, I mean, there's there's no competition here at LTC, really. You know, We don't do polling for table topics. We don't really choose best piece, uh, speech of the night. We don't really do certificates either, only for contests, you know? Um, it's all about this, I believe, right? Okay, cool. Um, next year, any other closing remarks? I'm grateful for attending today. It, it happened, it, not a coincidence, but it has a reason for it because I didn't know what to do because I was so scared of Saturday coming so close and I have not practiced even one time. So I just said, okay, I'm gonna do it. Let it be impromptu. And it has turned out to be okay because you know, internally I have been thinking about the message. I was thinking of what to say and uh, it was all mentally inside, but I had not expressed it. And so I got this opportunity and it has inspired me. And I'm going to attend your meeting as much as possible. I will plan my you know, schedules with my husband in such a way that I can attend every meeting and practice, practice. Thank you. Yay. That is, can I say something? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, it was a very nice session uh, when I just entered the meeting. Uh, Mr. Young com comforted me by talking to me, and it was very pleasant talking and listening to Trevor how his uh, nonverbal communication and all that was really enlightening. Uh, you know, I could learn things, and I would, and now I will practice a better body language. And uh, yeah, uh, Margaret uh, and VP of Paul being so cool and talking, that was really awesome. And I would, uh, I would, uh, I, I'm, I'm so thankful for this. And I, I have a very small request. Uh, I'm a student, I'm a master's student in one of the National Institute of India. Uh, so I was, I, I had gone through a very, you know, big turmoil like, uh, since my childhood. I had uh, mental health issues and all. So, after enduring so much, I started one uh, WhatsApp group to share your openly share your uh, mental health issues or talk about uh, behavioral sciences, how behavioral sciences can help our mental health. Uh, for example, how to think about expectations, uh, how to how to not procrastinate and what can we do? I read a lot of books of Dan Ariely, a behavioral economist. So if you want to join, just WhatsApp me. Uh, I have uh, typed my WhatsApp number in the chat session, uh, chat section. Uh, yeah, if anyone want to reach to me, I would love to engage with everyone. Uh, everyone was so energized. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much uh, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you very much, M. Shudar. We appreciate it. I have logged your email address. Uh, bit of the story as well as the phone number. Thank you. That's in the agenda notes now. All right, well, I'll leave it off here to President Young to handle our remaining guest remarks as well as our meeting adjourned, as well as yes. anything else. Thank yes, you very, thank much, you very much. Yes, I think I would like to invite uh, DM support to say something because I think it's time to say something for everyone. Thank you so much. I would like to say that Lam Kong remains the quality club, as I was told by my people who work in the parliament that this is the club that you must attend. One thing that I would like to recommend to the president was that 
priests try to make people involve more in the activities because I, I see that it's only 8 16 at this moment you still have about 14 minutes left you can have some round robin or even more table topic question or even ask somebody to express their view about anything this is a good club this is the club that i will try to attend and today i feel very lucky to have a chance to listen to the speech by Didier Margaret, which I have learned quite a lot from listening to her speech. And I would like to use your club to tell a lot of Toastmasters in some other clubs that please find time to attend, please find time to learn something from this club and then you will know that why this club is so popular, important, and a vital place for politicians to attend to improve their leadership and communication skill. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. And next, I would like to invite Toastmaster Mac to say to say something about today meeting. Thank you so much, Mr. President. I always love attending. Lantang Toastmaster Club, very warm and friendly and welcoming feeling. And like Toastmaster Trevor said, I never get to hear four speeches in one night. It's get to open my mind four times, break speeches and learn something. I actually gonna steal that. What you say Toastmaster Paul, time is unrecyclable. I'm gonna use that in my next time report the next time I have a chance to do the timer. And Toastmaster Trevor remind me, and, and it, he remind me, he, he evaluated me in several times to personalize the speech. And I heard that again tonight, and that reminds me too, to give part of yourself away. That's a good reminder. So the next time I write my speech, I will personalize my speech. Thanks for having me. Yes, thank you very much. I am as Toastmaster today. Today, my job is completed. I would like to return the control to Mr. President. And thank you very much, Toastmaster today. We love people to speak. If you open up, we want to speak. No problem. You will, you will be speaker. That's why we have four speakers today. And we very proud and really happy to make it happen for four speakers. And before I close the meeting, we got 10 minutes. Yes, uh, Toastmaster Paul, would you like to? Sure, I, you know, Kutzpot, uh, you mentioned a really, really good point on how we should spend the rest of the time here. So I'll speak for a couple of minutes and then offer some suggestions. The, the first thing I'll say is that I think that the open level of feedback here is unique in a lot of Toastmasters meetings where every minute is scheduled and planned. So that was, I feel, something that enabled us to speak from the heart and have some of the key moments that we had today. Um, those being history, four speeches, um, sharing years of experience and stories together. That's an openness that really requires some flexibility. The other last point here is suggestions. Um, I was hoping to go through some quotes or table topics or round robins. Uh, you know, like I'm not a control freak at all. So like, I like suggestions, you know? Uh, if you guys have any ideas, I'm taking them for 60 seconds and then we'll try to do something fun. I would like to suggest that each meeting is organized or prepared by just not the Toastmaster of the day, just one person, because it's a very heavy burden. But if, if we can get a lot of people communicating effectively to help the next meeting to be more powerful and meaningful for everybody to participate in advance. I mean, I have experienced that 
all Toastmaster of the Day are unwilling to take the responsibility of Toastmaster of the Day because of the heavy burden of having to do it by, by themselves, by one person. So please learn to work as a team and get do PR to be able to get other members. I know you have 20 to 30 members in every club, but they are not attending. They don't know how, how important and how high quality meetings we are having. So uh, record every meeting and send it out to the members who don't attend. That is very fair. And you inspire the rest of our segment today, which is going to be one, I take your suggestion at how to plan the agenda with more than one officer. <laughs> that would be good, right? Number two is that it's TM recommendation time, right? Where it's like a recommendation box, you know? And then this is a time where you have a piece of paper and you write your thoughts on the card, but we can share them verbally. And if you guys have any suggestions, try to keep it positive, you know? Uh, we'll, we won't complain too much about Toastmasters, but Trevor, go ahead, right? I had the warning, you heard the warning. Okay, well, you control time. Don't let time control you. And I still keep telling people that and they don't believe me. Now, just because we had 10 minutes left over in the meeting does not mean that we have to use that 10 minutes. I could have just as easily gone from the meeting 10 minutes and not use that 10 minutes and be on just as much a high. So this is what you've got to be careful with time. Time can be a blockage in your life if you don't, if you let it control you. It's not the idea. You control your time. And if you're ahead of time, good luck to you. No problem at all. You don't have to use the next 10 minutes or push for anything to do or anything else. Just that's it. Yahoo, we're 10 minutes early. Bye bye. <laughs> so easy. Okay. So bye, so bye, Kyle. Right. Bye, yes. So bye, so bye. This is why I love Toastmasters, is we all are, have freedom to give our perspective without being criticized or being judged. We all have different perspectives and we are free to speak it out. Give it. Trevor, I loved you. I loved you. There is one thing. Just now we mentioned Sabai Sabai in Thai. Please explain for our guest, Amshuda, so that he knows. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll give it to you by a 17 year old Thai girl who wrote it in an essay. She said that Sabai Sabai is that feeling when you're with your family in the rice paddies and you're sharing a meal in one of those little things meant for farmers. And that feeling, that time and everything is Sabai Sabai. That's good. That's actually good. I saw that. I saw that on YouTube somewhere. Yeah. Good on you. DTM support, would you like to say something, DTM support, before I close the meeting? I would like to say that I always have learned something from attending this club. And I think that uh, every people have different ideas in evaluating things. I like to learn something from Trevor. And I know that he mentioned that there are a hundred ways to for something to do something. I like that. And then I would like to make a little bit of suggestion that if we can connect something in the meeting to the present situation, I don't say about politics, but I say something about what is happening in this society, it may be useful for them or for the members because when they have to exchange their will about what is happening in the world, in Thailand now, they may use something that they learn from Lam Tong Toastmaster. This is some minor uh, suggestion. Maybe you disagree with me, it's up to you, 
but I, I think that I want people not only to come here to practice their language communication skill, but to be able to use it in their life. And all of the people here, we come from different profession. We come from different walks of life. And if there is anything happening in the society that we can exchange will, and we can know what other people think and put it into the Toastmaster context. Once again, I say that it is not about politics or religion. It's something about what is happening in this society. And this is what Lam Tong Toastmaster was the place where a lot of politician uh, celebrities come to attend. And then I asked them why you have to come to Lam Tong. And then they said that there is a, like a meeting place for them to come and exchange with. Because these people, maybe like me, had a chance to talk with foreigners. And then these are the questions that will be in their everyday conversation. So please kindly consider this. And if we can add it more into the future meeting, I will be deeply appreciated. Thank you. Bye. So I would like to adjourn the meeting and ready for the next meeting. Gonna be more exciting. Picture, picture, picture. Adjourn, adjourn, adjourn. Adjourn the picture, meeting. Picture, picture. All right, one, two, three. Smile, everyone. All right, two, six, six, nine. One, two, three. Okay. All right. Uh, could spot. I do have one thing to say there. Um, thank you. That was a very insightful point, and thank you very much for sharing it. So I'll just uh, humor you for a second, okay? All right. We have here, wait, I have a spoon here somewhere. Uh, okay, all right. Breaking, breaking, breaking news. All right. We have all of the marijuana regulations in Thailand have probably affected many drivers late at night. So please, <laughs> all ties drive safely. That would be one news, okay? All right. Number two is that while it remains a lawless category, please be careful in the coming six to nine months because that kind of thing always breeds violence, mm. right? And then point number three in breaking news is there's a lot of food shortages throughout the world right now. So most people throughout the world only have 72 hours worth of uh, stockpiles in their home. Um, and people all throughout the world are starting to prepare their inventories. Thank you very much. Breaking news out. Hey, everyone, good night. Well, I would like to say something. I don't like the sound of my own voice, but I'd love to get a voice coach and be able to talk like Paul. I love his modulation. As a newsreader, you'd be a hit, Paul. No problem at all. So away we go. Thank you all, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> love you all. Bye. Thank you all.